What's going on YouTube? Happy Monday. It is Vikings95 here and we are back to review some, uh, this is some retail repack boxes. You guys know it's been super hard finding stuff, uh, so I'm resorting to opening some retail products, uh, retail repack products. So this is uh, some stuff I had set aside. This is MJ Holdings Company, so, uh, you know, keeping your expectations low. This is from 2017, as you can see on the boxes. Uh, and basically these were $10 each. I got them off Walmart's website. I think they're sold out right now, I wanna say. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but you get one auto card, one mem, and four packs. I'm gonna guess out of the eight packs, we're gonna have at least four sage slash leaf. Probably the rest are gonna be score. Um, so we will see about that, but let's get to it. Um, I'm going to open both these up and then we're going to see what's inside. We had an absolutely crazy mail day the other day. Oh man, I meant to switch out one of those cards with the Alan Lazard gold vinyl that I got, but I guess Tim's got one card in here. That's sweet David Montgomery from Select. Um, I've been taking pictures of the cards and I'm trying to add them to the website and stuff and uh, it's been a process. WordPress had some updates, but uh, you know, it's been fun. And uh, yesterday's mail day was absolutely insane. I gotta say that was probably the most fun I think I've ever had opening up mail. I mean, it was just one after another crazy things. Uh, but some really nice cards. Uh, all of this was actually in yesterday's mail day, which is just crazy. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, we're gonna get two autos, two mem cards, guaranteed. This is For this, it was $20, uh, $10 each. So let's see what's in this one first. All right, there's our... Actually, that's not a terrible name. Uh, not much of a reveal there, but DJ Swearinger. Autograph, rookie auto. That's not bad at all. I'm actually pretty content with that, DJ Swearinger. Pretty Contenders 2013 rookie auto. Not bad. All right, uh, so that's gonna be the first box. I have not shown the memorabilia card yet. It does look like 50% is uh, Sage and Leaf, just from looking at the side. Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh man, what is this? We have a Topps QB, collectible stamper cubes. I don't even know what this is. That's gonna be interesting. I believe that might count as a pack, but we're gonna see. These actually seem a little bit different. Uh, looks like we got a chunky patch there or something, just a thick card. Um, so here we go. Wow, what is this? I don't even know which one I wanna open first. I'll go with the one where I already got the hit, a little DJ right there. Uh, actually a decent, Autograph card better than I thought I'd be receiving out there. I thought it was gonna be like a sage or a leaf no name. So 2013 rookie auto to start it off. Our memorabilia card is Ruben Randall. All right, that's not, that's honestly not terrible. We have a quad relic out of 146. I'm gonna put that in a sleeve quickly. There you go, Tops Prime. Quad Relic out of 146. Weird that it's out of 146, but Tops used to do that. Uh, that's pretty sweet. I'm sure this is probably like Rookie Premier Worn or something. Uh, it actually says not from any uh, specific game event or season, but that's a uh, that's a pretty cool, you know, little Quad Relic right there. It's a, I mean, Rookie, He I actually remember watching him play, so he's not a complete no-name uh, from Tops Prime, so... Overall, that wasn't too bad. We have uh, Collector's Edition Sage Hit 2016. We have a Tops 2015 Rookie in Every Pack, 12 cards. A Leaf Draft 2016 and a Prestige 2013. So, you know, nothing wild, but this one actually might be a little bit more interesting. Uh, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and get that Leaf Draft out of the way. See if we can pull any pull any uh, the, any fun rookie cards like a Zeke or something. Uh, Scooby Wright, Cody Kessler, Carson Wentz. That's kind of cool at least. The little yellow parallel or gold parallel of Carson Wentz. 
Robert Nimdiche, and Trey Carson. So, not bad. I mean, Carson Wentz, rookie, it, it's Leaf, obviously, so take it as you want. But here is a Collector's Edition 2006. Can't remember if this was before they started separating all the autographs or not. We have a Sean Price, Paul Perkins, Caleb Jones, and Sean Coleman. So, really, that one was uh, full of basically no names. Lesser known, I should say. But, all right, let's go with the 2013 Prestige. Reggie Wayne, Andrew Hawkins, our rookie is Monty Ball. Man, he just seems to be in every pack of prestige. Uh, Monty Ball, prestige rookie card, Michael Crabtree, and Victor Cruz. So, eh. And the last pack from that box, 2015 Tops. No thick cards. 12 cards, though, so quite a few. Uh, James Starks, Derek Carr, a New England Patriots AFC East card with Brady and Gronk on there. It's kind of cool. And that's the... I don't know if that's glossy or what. Feels a little glossy. Matthew Stafford, Fantasy Studs, a J.J. Watt. We have an Eddie George, All-Time Fantasy Legends, 18.3 points per game in 2000 season. It's kind of interesting. A Marshawn Lynch, fa Fantasy Studs, Jeremy Hill, Tony Romo, Darrell Revis, and uh, Senquez Golson, and Carl Davis for the two rookies. So, again, not super known rookies or anything, but not bad. Uh, I'm actually more impressed with uh, the hits that we got, the DJ Swearinger and the Ruben Randall out of 146. Like a rookie auto of an actual known player is actually pretty sweet. And uh, Ruben Randall, also a semi-known player. He was decent. Uh, quad rookie relic, not bad. Uh, this one, I have not shown the auto at all, but here we go. Here is the auto. Uh, oh, not another decent name, Janoris Jenkins, uh, hot rookie inscription. So this is a rookie auto right there of Janoris Jenkins. That's, uh, is it, wait, is it hot rookies? No, it is not a rookie auto. It says hot rookies on it, but uh, I don't believe he was a rookie. I mean, it says right here. You have to lead in the league in interceptions, turn for touchdowns as a rookie in 2012. Yeah, not a rookie, uh, but still a uh, a decent autograph. I mean, that's that's better than the sage or leaf of a no-name. So, Janoris Jenkins, inscriptions, auto right there. And then they actually put the mem card in a sleeve this time. We have a Bronco. We have Eddie Royal with a chunky patch. 26 of 50, obviously in not great condition. If I'm, I'm just going to take it out of the sleeve quick. A little notched up up here, not great corners or anything. Uh, kind of to be expected, being shipped in that box in literally just this, uh, this card sleeve right there. But it is a cool card. It's got a sweet patch on there, 26 out of 50 with the chunky patch. Eddie Royal. That's that's not bad. I mean, if it was in good condition, it'd be cooler. But still pretty cool with the uh, the two colored, maybe three colored. Can't tell away in the corner uh, with that chunky patch. All right. So we have we have this, and apparently this counts as a pack, uh, a collectible stamper. We're gonna open that up. We have 2015 Donruss with Marcus Mariota on the front. We have. Of course, they got to do it to us. We got Sage and Leaf as the other two. So really, we only got three packs of football cards. Eh, that's a little weird. Uh, but, you know, we're going to open this thing up and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what's inside. Because that is uh, definitely unique. Uh, I'm Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen these. I wonder if it has a stamp pad. Because if it does, it's going to be dried up. Okay, that's actually really cool. 
Um, sadly, it's of Doug Martin. And so it's a Buccaneers stamp. It has little Doug Martins on them. And then it's basically just like you got three different pictures through the cube of Doug. So that is, honestly, that is cool. Uh, if it would have been Peyton Manning with a Peyton Manning signature stamp, Andrew Luck, uh, that RG3 and Colin Kaepernick, that would have been... That would have been cool. Let's see. Actually, I should be looking at this. Signatures. Oh, Larry Fitz. You could have got some decent names. Honestly, that's... Uh, I like that. That is uh, very unique. I have never seen it before. I wonder if NFL players have just been signing with stamps this entire time. <laughs> um, but there you go. 2013 NFL QB collectible stamper cubes. Uh, and then we got a team logo, so that's what we got of Doug Martin right there. Probably, eh, there's some decent name like Gronk, Andrew Luck. There's some cool, cool people on there, but honestly, I had never seen that, so it's a little, it's unique to me. And you guys know I like unique. Sadly, it's not a Viking, but still a cool little, cool little toy icon of uh, the Buccaneers. All right, let's get these out of the way. Leaf 2016 again. We've got Braxton Miller, Ezekiel, hey, we did pull a Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott, Ashawn Robinson, Laquan Treadwell, and Cardell Jones. So, hey, not bad. We we pulled a Zeke. There we go. And then we have the Sage, or the, yeah, Sage Hit 2016. Collector's Edition. Nick Martin. A Darunya Wilson. Mike Urkovici, Urkovici, Vici, maybe, <laughs> and Sean Coleman again. <laughs> um, so, you know, I actually think Zeke puts more, or I mean, higher end players in than uh, Sage. Sage seems to be a lot of the lesser known players. All right, so we have a Donruss 2015 eight card pack. Let's see if there's anything in here. 2015 was a pretty good year for rookies, honestly, so we we might find something cool in here. Uh, we got a JPP, Jason Pierre-Paul, Justin Houston, Geno Atkins, Brandon Cooks, Greg Jennings, and Eddie Lacy. We have, oh, look at that. Passing the torch, Tom Brady. And then right behind it, oh, look, was that actually a hobby pack? I don't know if it was or not. I don't think it was. There's no hobby symbol on it that I saw. Here, I'll give you guys a look again. I was just trying to see if it's a hobby pack or not, but we actually got a numbered card out of it. Uh, right in the back there, we got Gridiron Legends, Earl Campbell, 36 out of 199. I will uh, I will take that right away. We're gonna put that in a sleeve and top loader. Kaboom! Look at that. Out of 199, Earl Campbell Gridiron Legends. And then on top of that, we got a passing the torch, Tom Brady to Jimmy G. And that is sweet. Uh, I do put all my cards of Tom Brady away. Typically, I think I have all of them in uh, top loaders as well. Because, you know, he's he is the greatest of all time. So there you guys go. T passing the torch, Tom Brady, Jimmy G. Uh, that's actually a really cool card. That's probably my favorite one of the opening. Uh, this Earl Campbell out of 199 is pretty sweet as well. There you guys have it. There's, uh, you know, that honestly was not not that bad for, uh, for $10 each box. You could open some packs. Uh, you get two guaranteed hits, kind of like the... Uh, Field goal box from Target, which I have also not seen anywhere. No field goal boxes in Target anymore. And they're not even on their website online. So uh, retail football cards are becoming very, very hard to find. I hope you guys are able to find them because it has been very difficult for me. Uh, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the opening. Thank you guys so much for uh, taking the time to watch this video and support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a great upcoming week. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you later.